Hi guys, it's the Dinosaur Man 245 here and today we're going to be doing part um, 3 I believe of the um, Jurassic Park lookalike slash cheap standing figurines. So this is part 3. And this is I believe will be the final part. And remember these can always be repainted to suit your style of Jurassic Park but yeah, these are just my ones that I have. So, we're going to take a look at a raptor. This is a raptor I found after the second part. It uh, looks even, it's bigger, it's made by the same people who made um, that. This Stegosaurus, oh by the way, so is this Brachiosaurus and that Triceratops, they're all the same make. Um, so, um, th again, this is fairly detailed, and it's brown, so the colour scheme's right, the model, uh, or um, what would you call it, the design, or the the sculpt isn't right, yeah, but it isn't accurate to the Jurassic Park line, but it's still a good stand, and the eyes are green, like they were in the movie, this has definitely been inspired by Jurassic Park. I don't know when this was made. I think it was made about, I would say, between 2005 to about 1995. Don't know. Um, my, this one has my name on it because um, I took it in to do a presentation years ago to my school. It says, Draw me a source. Wait. See that? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, it says Velociraptor Dromaeosaurus. Um, uh, I like this one because it's bigger than the them two ones over there. It doesn't scale well with other dinosaurs, but I still like it. Um, the sickle claw, if I can focus the camera, is nice and big and movie accurate. I'd say. The positioning is a bit of a tripod dinosaur, as you would call it. It's like balances on his tail, his tail as well. So, being take note of that, it kind of looks like a classic kind of sculpt of a raptor or whatever you would say, like classic, because they because they used to think their tails were dragging on the ground and they were like big lizards and stuff. I view this as that kind of dinosaur, but you could use it as a Jurassic Park raptor. And I understand why you could, because like, it's the same colour scheme, same eye colour, um, same like claws and stuff. Out of 10, um, I'd give this a 7. So yeah. Next is this. Um, Brachiosaurus, which is the same make. It's not accurate. In color scheme, but you could always repaint it, make it lighter or gray color, gray brown like the other one, like the the or brown like the other. sauropod I'm um, Brachiosaurus. So yeah, um, the eyes are done well in this one, like or better than the others. Uh, it is old again, like these are really old. So its neck is bendy, that's notable. Um, yep. Its tail is shorter, well, longer than most other models. Um, feet are nicely sculpted. Nice paint job overall. Like, I like the way the green is done. Um, I like the model, like the detail, like the weight um and overall a good product so yeah okay so the next one um is the triceratops it's just over here so it's kind of hard to tell where things are with just by looking through the camera but here's the triceratops it isn't painted accurately it's the same make as a brachiosaurus and raptor um, it's the horns are like bendy. A lot of the parts are bendy on these, like the tail's bendy, and the legs are bendy, kinda. 
Um, it's a same AAA brand. Don't know what that is. Don't know anything about them. And stuff. So yeah, the eyes are white, normal looking, and the frill looks decent. You can you can kind of recreate. Oh, sorry, kind of recreate the scene in Jurassic Park where like there are the injured Triceratops, or it could be the Lost World Triceratops. You can repaint it. Anything you want with it, so as you buy it and get the right one, you can paint it high detail, bit heavy, but yeah, overall fairly nice product. And um, we'll give that the I'll give the Brachiosaurus if I didn't already read it a seven, as well as this I'll give it a seven. So yeah. Um, the la and speaking of repainting, the last but not least figurine. Is this one so yeah, I repainted it green with kids paint because I didn't have any official paint like proper paint to paint it with so it's green With kids paint. It's also a bit of brown near the feet Um, it's got I the claws weren't black. I just painted them all like sharpie Um, I, I tried to make it look like the lost world t-rex and um, with the tiger stripes on it but I did Mm, seven or six point five out of ten job on him. Probably the over the figure was actually a bluey gray, as you can see in the bottom. It's like this bluey gray. Didn't like it, so I painted it. Um, last winter, that's when I painted it. Um, a nice figure. Um. I do like it myself. I paint. I tried to paint the interior of the mouth, but you know it didn't really work out. Um, you could. What you could do was paint, is paint it brown. Actually, if you painted it brown, then you could get that look in the in the first Jurassic Park where the T Rex roars in it. It says when dinosaurs rolled the earth comes down. You could get that kind of look, but you could then again. Um. So yet. Yeah, you could just go, as I was saying, you could just go out and buy the Papu version um, of the, the Papu Braun variant of the T-Rex and it looks it's not much higher quality, it looks more like the Jurassic Park T-Rex and stuff, yeah. But overall this is a nice um, T-Rex. If I were to rate it, it would give it a 6 out of 10 after painted. Um, no, sorry, a 6 out of 10 before painted, after painted, a 6.5 out of 10. So, yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. They're all falling down again. And um, be sure to check out this batch, this batch, and this batch is the one you're watching right now. So, yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. So, bye-bye.